What is Binswanger's disease? Binswanger's disease, BD, also called subcortical vascular dementia, is a type of dementia caused by widespread, microscopic areas of damage to the deep layers of white matter in the brain. The damage is the result of the thickening and narrowing, atherosclerosis, of arteries that feed the subcortical areas of the brain. Atherosclerosis, commonly known as hardening of the arteries, is a systemic process that affects blood vessels throughout the body. It begins late in the fourth decade of life and increases in severity with age. As the arteries become more and more narrowed, the blood supplied by those arteries decreases and brain tissue dies. A characteristic pattern of Benzwanger's disease damaged brain tissue can be seen with modern brain imaging techniques such as CT scans or magnetic resonance imaging MRI. What are the symptoms of Benzwanger's disease? The symptoms associated with Binswanger's disease are related to the disruption of subcortical neural circuits that control what neuroscientists call executive cognitive functioning. Short-term memory. Organization. Mood. The regulation of attention. The ability to act or make decisions. Appropriate behavior. The most characteristic feature of Binswanger's disease is psychomotor slowness, an increase in the length of time it takes, for example, for the fingers to turn the thought of a letter into the shape of a letter on a piece of paper. Other symptoms include forgetfulness, but not as severe as the forgetfulness of Alzheimer's disease, changes in speech, an unsteady gait, clumsiness or frequent falls, changes in personality or mood, most likely in the form of apathy, irritability, and depression, urinary symptoms that aren't caused by urological disease. How is Binswanger's disease diagnosed? Brain imaging, which reveals the characteristic brain lesions of Binswanger's disease, is essential for a positive diagnosis. Is there any treatment for Binswanger's disease? There is no specific course of treatment for Binswanger's disease. Treatment is symptomatic. People with depression or anxiety may require antidepressing medications such as the serotonin-specific reuptake inhibitors (SSRI). Atypical antipsychotic drugs can be useful in individuals with agitation and disruptive behavior. Recent drug trials with the drug Nemantine have shown improved cognition and stabilization of the global functioning and behavior. The successful management of hypertension and diabetes can slow the progression of atherosclerosis, and subsequently slow the progress of Binswanger's disease. Because there is no cure, the best treatment is preventive, early in the adult years by controlling risk factors such as hypertension, diabetes, and smoking. The Mind Diet, Eating to Lower the Risk of Alzheimer's Alzheimer's is the leading cause of disability in the elderly. The Mind Diet is a diet plan that, according to science, helps significantly reduce the chance of suffering from Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is one of the cruelest degenerative illnesses that a person can confront. However, there are ways to prevent it, among them is nutrition and the MIND diet. What you need to know about the MIND diet. The name of this diet is an acronym derived from Mediterranean Intervention for Neurodegenerative Delay. The Rush University Medical Center created the MIND diet with a name to prevent Alzheimer's. In order to establish the diet, scientists gathered the information that they had available on the diets of the elderly with Alzheimer's, or those with a genetic predisposition for the illness. In order to do so, they tested the diets followed by patients of 65 years or older to see their probabilities of having Alzheimer's. The results of the study were more than striking. The scientists concluded that the people who strictly follow the diet managed to reduce up to 53% of their probability of suffering from the illness. Also benefiting from the diet, some of the people who followed the diet saw a 35% reduction in their probability of getting Alzheimer's. The study also showed that the sooner these dietary habits were put into practice, the more a patient could benefit. Patients could enjoy a lower probability of suffering from the cellular degeneration that occurs with Alzheimer's. The MIND diet isn't terribly hard to follow. It's comprised of 15 components that belong to the 10 food groups. Among those, we can find nuts, vegetables, grains, natural oils present in fish, white meats and wine. On the opposite spectrum, we should reduce our intake of the following foods, fast food, red meats, refined sugar and butter. The MIND diet, what you should eat daily. Among the foods that should be on the menu every week are, a portion of beans and legumes, and two portions of red fruit. Other highly recommended foods are cranberries, a portion of white, 
free-range poultry meat and a portion of white fish and another of salmon. The mind diet should include the following foods. 3 portions of grains. 1 portion of green leaf vegetables along with chard, lettuce and arugula. A piece of fruit. A handful of nuts, more specifically, peanuts, almonds and hazelnuts. Half cup of red wine. Eating in moderation. According to the mind diet, the food that should be consumed in moderation is lard or butter. Portions should amount to no more than a half tablespoon in a day. Dieters should also be careful with their portions of high-fat cheeses, fast foods or products with refined sugars. The Western Diet and Alzheimer's This isn't the only evidence that shows a relation between diet and Alzheimer's. According to a study published by Scientific Reports Nature, researchers at Tufts University found that diet is directly linked to the illness. Throughout the study, scientists fed mice large quantities of animal food products with high fat and sugar contents. Studies showed that a long period of time following the diet produced a decrease in immune responses in the brain. This type of diet consists of excessive consumption of fried foods, refined sugars, white flour and processed foods. It leads to an imbalance in our immune system because what our body really does is reject those foods and react. The entirety of the imbalance gives rise to all kinds of illnesses among them, Alzheimer's. The scientists also saw that it increased activity in the microglia, or nervous system cells that are inside the central nervous system's immune system. There are various studies that indicate that this sort of inflammation raises the risks of suffering from Alzheimer's. So now that you know, you have a reason to take more care of your diet and bet on healthier foods, like those outlined in the MIND diet. Exercises to help prevent Alzheimer's disease Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disease that affects millions of people throughout the world. To prevent this disease, we need to make sure to keep our minds alert and try new activities every day. Try some of these. Exercises to help prevent Alzheimer's disease Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disease characterized by the loss of short-term memory and various cognitive capacities such as speaking or concentration. In reality, it is the most common form of dementia. Alzheimer's disease appears most in people who are 65 years or older. Lifespan is only up to 10 years after being diagnosed. It's estimated that some 25 million people suffer from this disease. In this article, we will look at some exercises to help you get your brain in action. Exercises like these might help you to delay or completely avoid the onset of Alzheimer's. Preventing Alzheimer's disease. There have been many advances since the disease was first discovered by Emil Krebhelen in Alois Alzheimer in 1906. However, there are still aspects of the disease that we don't understand. For example, we still don't know what exactly causes it to appear. However, we do know that we can fight to prevent this condition before we get older. Doing certain exercises and eating certain foods can't guarantee we won't suffer from Alzheimer's when we get old, but it may help and we can at least say that we tried. There are many factors that influence the appearance of this mental erosion caused by cerebral oxidation. Among them we find stress, atherosclerosis, and diabetes. All of these increase the aging of your brain. Also, being a woman and having gone through menopause can put you at risk. This is because your body has stopped producing estrogen, a hormone that increases brain health. Let's take a look at some great exercises to train your brain that may be helpful in delaying or preventing Alzheimer's. Exercises for training your brain. Your mind is like a muscle, and like any muscle, it needs to be exercised. If you don't do this often, it'll atrophy. Here are some habits that you can add to your daily routine to help increase your cerebral capacity. 1. Bathe with your eyes closed. Try to take a bath once a week with your eyes closed. Find where the faucet, soap, and shampoo are. Don't even peek. This way, you will develop your other senses, like your sense of touch. This will make your brain work more than usual. 2. Use your non-dominant hand. If you're right-handed, use your left hand, or vice versa, to do common tasks. This could be brushing your teeth or hair, writing, opening cabinets, using the mouse, cutting food, grabbing a glass, etc. 3 change where you put things. Your brain becomes used to having certain objects in certain places. It knows, for example, that your underwear is in the top of your dresser, or that you keep milk in the fridge. By doing this, we become a little lazy and do everything from memory. Challenge yourself to put things in new places. 
What if you put your underwear in a new drawer? You can change the furniture layout in your house. You could even change where your desk is in your office. 4. Take a different route every day. The same thing that happens with things in your house happens with the routes you take to get to your job, school, the gym, the supermarket, etc. If you usually use the same mode of transportation, change it. If you go by car or by bike, take a different route. Our brains need to be surprised from time to time. Also, by doing this you keep life from getting boring and routine. 5. Memorize phone numbers and dates. We don't use our brains to store certain information as much as we used to thanks to smartphones and computers. Because of this, it's common for us to not know the number for our partner or our parents. We may not even know our own phone number. Try not to use these devices or even paper for support. Remember important dates without having them written anywhere. The same thing happens with GPS maps and calculators. These things, which seem to make life easier, have made our brains very lazy. For instance, we don't know how to get to our best friend's house or even what 2 by 5 is. Think about the route you'll take before you leave the house. And, do these calculations in your head. 6. Read more. Books help us to encourage our imagination and strengthen our brain. When you read, your brain makes an effort to think about what is happening. It has to connect information and dates that the author leaves flowing from the pages. Don't read things just because you have to, such as for school and work. Try to find novels or science fiction you like. Another idea is to read out loud to stimulate your hearing. Other exercises for increasing your brain functions. Besides the previous exercises, there are many other activities you can put into practice. These exercise your brain and can prevent the onset of Alzheimer's. Walk backward without turning your head. Do word searches, Sudoku, and riddles. Wear your watch on your other wrist. Get dressed with your eyes closed. Read magazines upside down. Exercise regularly. Be curious, look up interesting information about anything. Be positive. Eat a healthy diet. Drink a lot of water. Sleep between 7 and 8 hours per night. Meditate. Learn new words. Use synonyms and antonyms to say the same thing.